Tucker Carlson says this about January 6th. Watch this. And that was a tip off to me. I mean, I had no thought in my head as I watched this happen on television and in the subsequent weeks that U.S. law enforcement or military agencies had anything to do with it. That never crossed my mind. I never thought there was it was a false flag or anything like that. I'm not a conspiracist by temperament. I never thought that. Um, and then I interviewed the chief of the Capitol Police, Stephen Sund, in an interview that was never aired on Fox, by the way. I was fired before it could air. Um, I, I'm going to interview him again. But Stephen Sund was the totally non-political, worked for Nancy Pelosi. I mean, this was not some right-wing activist. He was the chief of the Capitol Police on January 6th. And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That crowd was filled with federal agents. What? Yes. Well, he would know, of course, because he was in charge of security at the site. So the more time has passed, now it's been... No, again, if we, if, if we lived in a free country with an actual democracy, a functioning democracy, that would be the headline on every newspaper from coast to coast and every news show. Of course it isn't, because we are the most propagandized people in the world, and a handful of billionaires control all the media, and they don't want you to know that. They want to make Donald Trump and his political organization illegal. They want to make MAGA illegal, enemies of the state. That's what they're trying to do. They've done it pretty well. And what Tucker's telling you is that that's propaganda. That's that story you've been told about January 6th is a lie. What he's telling you is that it was a FBI psyop. You know how when they went to kidnap the governor of Michigan, there were 13 people in a van, nine of them were FBI? Jeez. That's what this is. That's what's 9-11. There were lots of people at January 6th who didn't go, who, who were completely peaceful. There were some people, a lot of people who were uh, FBI uh, uh, undercover. They were violent. I saw that video. I've seen that. I've seen them breaking windows, instigating violence. We've all seen it. And now the former number one newsman in America just five seconds ago is telling you that he did an interview with the Capitol Police chief who told you that there was feds off, massive amounts of feds. Exactly what people like me have been saying. And of course, they wouldn't air that interview. So now he's got to interview him again. Elon Musk weighed in on that video I just showed you. He said, would be interesting to hear from the chief of police. Now, isn't it interesting that we haven't heard from the chief of police? Don't you think that the chief of police would be doing everybody's show talking about January 6th? But it sounds like they don't want you to hear from the chief of police because I've never heard from the chief of police. Isn't that weird that you haven't heard from the chief of police on January 6th about why they didn't have the necessary police there to secure the Capitol? Because that's what happened. They didn't have the necessary security there. When we did a forced to vote Medicare for all when 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 during that what they did a a protest at the Capitol there were more cops there for that and there were only 50 people <laughs> look at this what come on these guys can't be feds I just got this off Twitter but this is what they would look like if you showed up on January 6th and you were looking for undercover feds, you would look for people with air piece, air, an air piece. Look, he's got walkie-talkies. Like they got these little walkie-talkies. But they got the Trump hats. So if, that, if a fed shows up looking like that, if a person shows up looking like that, that's a fed. That's, this, is, this is good. Now, I don't know if these are from January 6th or what, but I'm just giving you this just to let you know that's what they would look like. They'd cover their face. They'd have earpieces in. <laughs> they'd have... Um, Random Stranger says, hmm, not to mention that Sund was formerly head of the D.C. Metro Police Special Ops and had years of experience dealing with the protests. I'm guessing he's referring to the police chief. Yet the cattle fences weren't locked together. The exterior and interior doors were wide open to the Capitol. And cops let people in without going through metal detectors. We saw cops let people in. 
that weird? And the guy who was in charge of that was the guy who should have known all about it. But we've never interviewed that guy. Just like nobody's ever been able to interview that guy who attacked Paul Pelosi. I, I keep waiting for these interviews. They don't show up. We haven't had interviews of any of the... Why You think all those p criminals that the on January 6th that the press would be dying to interview them. So here's someone trying to find out. This is, this is a congressman. This is from the House Homeland Security Committee hearing on November 15th, 2022. This is Representative Clay Higgins from Louisiana. He's asking the FBI Director Christopher Wray whether the FBI had confidential sources and FBI employees, i.e. undercover agents, embedded in the crowd on January 6th. Well, Tucker Carlson just told us that the police chief of the Capitol said they were, they were filled, flooded with them. Let's hear what the FBI chief says. Does, it, does the FBI have confidential human sources? Uh, did the FBI have confidential human sources embedded within the January 6th protesters on January 6th of 2021? Well, Congressman, as I'm sure you can appreciate, I have to be very careful about what I can say about when. Even we are, now, because that's what you not, told us two years finish? ago. May I finish? Uh, <laughs> about when we do and do not, and where we have and have not used confidential human sources. Uh, but to the extent that there's a suggestion, for example, that the FBI's confidential human sources or FBI employees in some way instigated or orchestrated January 6th, that's categorically false. Did you have confidential human sources dressed as Trump supporters inside the Capitol on January the 6th oh. prior to the doors being opened? Oh. Again, I had to be very careful. It should be a no. Can you not tell the American people? No, we did not have confidential human sources dressed as Trump supporters position inside the Capitol. Gentlemen's time has expired. You should not read anything into my decision uh, not to share it from direct <laughs> right. confidential human. Gentlemen's time has expired. Did you have, were there FBI guys dressed up as Trump supporters inside the Capitol before they breached the Capitol? Can't, can't tell you. It should be a no. But it's not a no. Why would they do that? Maybe they were planning on doing this. Maybe they were planning on inciting a riot, getting Trump supporters into the Capitol so they could make MAGA an illegal political movement, which is what they've been trying to do. And they can try to throw President Trump in jail for instigating it. That's what this is. That's what January 6th is. And Tucker Carlson is letting us know. You want to hear it? Here's an FBI whistleblower saying that they wouldn't give, they wouldn't give them the, the video. And why wouldn't they give them the video of what happened on January 6th from, you know, the security video from inside the Capitol here? Mm -hmm. Those individuals were inside the Capitol, to which the SSA responded back. And I was privy to these conversations firsthand. Why can't you show us, why can't you just send us, the, give us access to the 11,000 hours of video that this exam, that's available? Because there may be... Maybe UCs, undercover officers, or CHS's confidential human for confidential human sources on those videos whose identity we need to protect. Committing crimes. So, Mr. Allen, you got retaliated again. Committing, they wouldn't release them to this FBI with because they're going to show FBI personnel and sources committing crimes. That's why. Isn't that interesting? Here's another FBI whistleblower. Oh, uh, who's who thinks by by the way, they've been retaliated against by the FBI for telling the truth about January 6th. And here's a guy who's saying they kept wanting me to go serve summons and investigate these people and for absolutely nothing. The people who are at January 6th. They wanted to criminalize all of them and he wouldn't go along and they retaliated against him. And here's what he says. You need to serve a federal grand jury subpoena when there was no proper predicate to do so. And the reason there was no predicate was because it was based on an anonymous tip, right? That's correct. And time and again, the Washington field office was trying to pressure you without corroboration to go start process on people. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. 
And so while I agree that January 6th was a violent day, a bad day, a day that nobody wants to relive, violence on January 6th doesn't justify weaponizing the government against people who were innocent and did nothing wrong. Thank you for blowing the whistle on that. So there's that. And then, of course, we we remember Ted Cruz when he was talking to the, uh, I think there was assistant director of the FBI at the time. And here's what How they said. How many FBI agents or confidential informants actively participated in the events of January 6th? Sir, I'm sure you can appreciate that I can't go into the specifics of sources and methods. Uh, Did any FBI any agents FBI or agents confidential or informants confidential actively informants participate, participate in the events of January 6th? Yes, January 6th. yes or no? Yes or no. Sir, I can't, I can't answer that. Did any FBI Did agents any or FBI confidential agents informants or commit crimes of violence on January 6th? 6th. I can't answer that, sir. <laughs> Did any FBI agents or FBI informants actively encourage and incite crimes of violence on January 6th? Sir, I can't answer that. Should be a no. Should be a no. But they're gonna but the New York Times is tell you Tucker Carlson's crazy. <laughs> because the people who read the New York Times don't watch this show and they don't watch those videos I just showed you. Oh, Ray Epps was my first clue. The earpieces were my second clue. And the wristbands were my third clue. That they were filled with FBI feds. Ask the chief of the Capitol Police about AAR after action report. Feds require it for every incident. It shows that the in-command flowchart, the ink in-command flowchart, who's in charge, what plan was used, who made it, the manpower, the decision making, the available res, whatever that means, and what was done right and what was done wrong. So where is, so I'd want to, if I got a chance to interview the Capitol Police Chief, I would ask him for this, uh, inc- what do they call the AAR, the after action report, because it would tell you how everything went down, why there wasn't enough police there in the first place. That, that's what I think everybody wants to know. Here's one more. Uh, I don't need, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Uh, thanks to Tucker again for breaking some news and letting people know that the police chief of the Capitol Police told him that the crowd on January 6th was filled with feds. Hey, come see us on tour. We'll be in Baltimore, San Francisco, Huntington Beach, Rosemont, and Chicago, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, New York City, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Stamford, Connecticut, and more, and St. Louis. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all our tickets for all our shows. Mm-hmm.